Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is gonna be uh, part two of a series where I attempt to clean the rust off of my firearms. And so today, what we have is an old Stevens uh, single shot 410. And you can tell all of the rust on the barrel as well as uh, the receiver for that gun. And so first of all, I'm gonna check We'll check and make sure that we're unloaded here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll break that down and we'll just pull on the end of the fore end here and take that off. And then now you can definitely see where there's no rust underneath here. And then as you turn the gun over, we start to get the rust on top of the barrel. So um, we're gonna work on uh, that today. And we're gonna break the barrel down from the receiver end like so. If you checked out my last video on the Heritage 22 Rough Rider, it had some heavy rusting on the top of the barrel as well as on the 22 mag cylinder. Um, and what we used for that project was a chore boy, um, pure copper scrubber, a brass cleaning brush, and then we also just used some Hops number nine cleaning lubricant. But today, as I said, in this video series, we're gonna test different products so that you can decide which one works best for you. So on this Steven Single Shot 410, we're gonna be using some Safari Charlie gun lube. And here you can see all the things that it's rated for and what it's good for, but deep penetration. Um, if we turn the, the can over, this has everything from um, marine and aviation uses to uh, sporting good and then over here for gun use too. That it lifts rust, copper, lead, dirt, grime, and grease. Application just says clean thoroughly by saturating all parts, work loose foreign material, and repeat until your metal is clean and smooth. We're going to start off with our barrel here and I'm just going to give this a liberal application of our Safari Charlie um, in this aerosol can. And we're just, whoa, that comes out really good. And so we're just gonna let that work into the barrel. And so we're just gonna spray that on and let it sit. We have just a little rusting on this metal part here. So we're just gonna coat that around. Now, this has a very citrusy, clean smell to it. So I'm not really worried about doing that indoors at the moment but I would recommend you don't just spray it all over the place. Um, so here we have that, everything is soaked down. So hopefully this will be a good product. We're gonna let this sit for a couple hours. We'll start off by just wiping it down uh, with, a, with a cloth. Then we'll start in with our actual cleaning. Give it a quick wipe down. Uh, see here's some rust coming off. I have our pure copper scrubber here.
Okay, before we get any further into this uh, rust removal project, we are going to actually attempt to remove the action from the uh, from the gun. So, what I'm going to do in the butt plate here are a couple of screws. Is back them out a little bit of each one at a time. That does expose the screw inside the butt stock here. That should help to get the action off. So hopefully my screwdriver is long enough. I'm going to insert that in. And I checked it with a light already. It's a flathead screw. Okay. I believe we got it loosened up. We're going to attempt to pull that screw out. And that's what we get out of the butt. And our action and receiver. It's going to slide right out. Now, I am not going to attempt to break this down any because I probably couldn't get it back together. But it does allow me to keep working um, on the receiver without fear of scratching up the stock. Well, those last 15 minutes of scrubbing with the receiver removed from the butt stock uh, look just like the rest of the video. So there's no need of me speeding that up for you and showing you all that. I reassembled the gun and this is the moment that you've been waiting for and as always I'm gonna let you be the judge. What do you think about using Safari Charlie? To remove surface rust from your gun and right here is the finished product of our Stevens model 94 C Single shot 410 I'm gonna try to give you an angle um, like the before angle that I have in my photo but looking down that barrel I know the lighting is different out here but I am very impressed with how this turned out so now instead of looking old and rusted it just looks old um, it is a little pitted here mostly on the receiver and right where the barrel meets the fore end but other than that like I said I'm very pleased even down to the uh, to the lever here as well as the trigger itself got quite a bit of the rust off it's still got some discoloration on it we're definitely probably going to re-blue this in the future you can see here some of the blue in is gone nice hand-me-down gun uh no it's not it's not what i would call heirloom quality uh certainly not an expensive gun by any means but it has certainly put a lot of food on the table over the years rabbits and squirrels and it will continue to do that as i hand it down to my boys Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, this is only part two of a multi-part series where I'm cleaning the rust off of my guns. So make sure you stick around for part three because I'm going to see what I can do with a copper penny. Make sure you hit that like button, comment down below what you want to see, smash that subscribe button. If you haven't checked out part one of the video series where we use Hops 9 to remove rust off of a Heritage 22 revolver, make sure you click the video link in the description and check it out. As always, thanks for coming by. We'll catch you next time right here on the J-Line.